Hi, and welcome to this quick video where I show you how we can set up Webload to do the login once of a user and then do the rest of the uh, logic more than once. This is quite a common scenario where we have a, a login phase or an initial phase, and then we want the second round to just keep on from the place uh, we were before. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to record a simple uh, login example with my demo website. So this is uh, Webload MP, so it's a Webload testing website we have. I just create a transaction for login. And that's our login step. There is a login, and I have a demo user. That's for demo. And now I log it in, and that transaction is over. And now let's do something else. Uh, let's they click on something, the webinars. So I'm going to do webinars. I uh, can take this one off. Uh, let's just click on webinars. And as you can see, I'm, I'm still logged in here. Okay. So and that was my webinar. And that's enough. So we can do a logout. Logout. Okay. And that's my logout step. Okay, done. All right, so now we have the basic script. Uh, obviously, I need correlation. If you don't know what correlation is, then that's for a different course. The correlation found out this dynamic value. Great, everything else looks fine. Just going to do OK. Now I have a, I have a running script. Um, so this script has a login step. It has the body of the text, which would do whatever it needs to, and then we have a logout step. And now if I want to change this and I want to just do the login once, there are several ways to do it. Um, so uh, the easiest way is to have some kind of a variable to control of whether we did the, the login or logout, or we can use, we can move it to, to uh, init client and terminate client. So init client and terminate client are functions that uh, Init client would happen when the client starts, and terminate client would happen when the, the um, client ends. So uh, we can use those to move the structures around. Uh, the way I like to do it is instead of moving things around, which would make break my nice tree, is to actually wrap it around with uh, function calls. So I will do, we'll just add before my big my for everything actually before i start my script i would add just something that would start my uh, login function so to call it function do login and basically i'm opening a brand of which means everything afterwards is going to be part of this function and i would also add javascript end after the login transaction here so i'm just going to End bracket because well, that's going to end uh, this function here. So everything I have if between here and there is going to be part of what I call now a do, li do login transact function. And this would not happen as part of the script unless I um, call it. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the logout. So I have here the logout. I'm going to create a Another block here before the logout to say this is to logout and then using the opening bracket. And after the logout ends, I would add the ending uh, brackets. So it would mark the end of this transaction. So here I have my ending brackets. Nice. So uh, now if I run the script, it would not work because it would not do the login, nor it would lead to the logout. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the init client. So init agenda and terminate agenda are functions that are being called just once for the, for the entire agenda. This is more for general setup kind of things. But we want init client because we want every client to do the login. So in init client, we would do do login basically calls that login function we had. And then in terminate client, we will do, do 
agenda we can see we have an init client and at the end we have the terminate client which does the logout and to check it we can use here in the settings we can say let's run it instead of by default it has one we only run one iteration but here let's do three iterations so we can see that it's actually working and let's run it Nice. So as you can see, uh, I can see now in my execution tree that my first round is doing the login as I expected it. And it's doing every, also the, the actual request I wanted it to do afterwards. Um, sorry, yeah, oh, sorry, that's my, my init client. It's happening before my round. And then my round actually performs just whatever I wanted it to do. And as you can see, it still is logged in as the user wanted it to be logged in as. And then my second round does the same. My third round is doing the third one. And afterwards, we have the logout, which is afterwards and logged out again. Um, uh, one more step, which is sometimes needed, is let me go back to editing. So when we're doing the login, another thing which is we need to do is to do the uh, cookies at the end of round equals false. So we default uh, every round starts fresh, but here you don't want to start fresh. We want it to keep uh, being logged in, and that usually is done by cookies. So we want to add this setting to. Um, keep the user logged in and that should do the trick and um, that's it thank you for watching